So <clears throat> today I will be replacing this valve right here because it's been it's not leaking, but I don't think it's working anymore because whenever I shut off the water, you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but the water's still running. Um, every time it flush, it's constantly flushing the toilet and wasting water because the bottom here, that piece is not working properly anymore. So now I'll be changing it. So let's see how hard it is to do it. This is my first time doing that. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up some tools and, and I looked at some videos on YouTube. It looks pretty easy, but hey, you never know until you start doing things, right? So I'll show you guys what kind of tools I'll be using. So um, just so you know, I'll be shutting off the water, so I'm not going to be showing that in the video. All right. All right. So I'm just going to flush the toilet just to be on the safe side because I'll be disconnecting this side right here, so I don't want any problems. So. Anyway, um, so I already have these tools here that I purchased a while ago, but I just came back from the Home Depot, um, purchased this piece right here. That's the one I'll be replacing the valve with. So just wanted to show you guys in case it's a one and a half by three quarter to eight and a half, I mean, eight, I mean inches. So. Not familiar with these tools, so forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. I just wanted to share with you how I got it done. So, all right, let's move on. So let's, I'm gonna remove everything out, remove this piece, and then get this bathroom going. Hopefully it works. All right, I'm just removing the top. Nothing crazy. Sorry. I'm not gonna be showing everything, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing first and then you know step by step and as soon as where you guys can have an idea if you're doing this for the first time this is loose enough so I can just go ahead and finish it with my finger uh, it's still a little tight so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this piece and then after that um, show you the next step so, so I ran into an issue that you know, I was anticipating, but I wasn't sure that was going to be the case because, again, this is my first time doing this. Um, water is still leaking, so I was just up to let it drain for a minute. But um, the back of this, since my pipe, copper pipe is so short and I'm having issue bringing this out as much as I can. Hold on. All right, so sorry for the mop, it's really dirty, but I don't really care right now. Um, this is something I use for dirty stuff. So as you can see, it's still leaking, so. Um, I shut off the water already, I'm just extra water that was in there. But anyway, so what I found out, this is copper and I don't have a lot of space to cut this. So when I was at the Home Depot, I purchased this torch. So I'm gonna heat it up. I think this was like $25. I'm gonna heat it up and remove this. Once this is out, I'll be able to install the new one. So, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys how I do it because it's fire and I'm not trying to burn my house, but you have to be careful, okay? So, um, again, this is the product that I purchased. So you have an idea, all right? If you run, if you run, if you are running to the same issue, like if you're not, and you have an easy one, then great. But unfortunately for me, this house is a little older, so I'm not sure why they did the pipe so short. But it is what it is. All right. So a quick update, guys. <laughs> this became harder than I thought. Not so hard, but it's just more work because I tried to warm up the cop copper, it won't come out. So I had to go back to Home Depot. I'm trying to remove this thing because it's stuck for some reason. Like, I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm trying to break it off. 
so I can cut this copper. So I have to go back to Home Depot and purchase this um, copper cutter. It's a Husky. So this is it right here. So for you guys who are looking for the item, I'll have the items on the on my link. So hopefully you guys, that, you know, that can help you guys make. And I also have to get a new. Clearly, I have to get a new plate. And then let's see. Hold on. Let me show you guys. And I also have to get addition, additional bite. That's just a connector. So what's gonna happen because my copper is so short over here, I'm gonna put that as an extend to extend it to make it longer. And I'm gonna use that um, husky cutter to cut it to make it to the length that I, I want it to be. So that's basically what you need if you're facing the same situation that I'm facing. Basically all the tools. So now once I get this out, I'll cut it and then take it from there. Look at that wall. I, you know, it's it's all from the fire trying to burn this out. So it turned my wall black. But anyway, doesn't matter. So just wanted to show you guys again what I'm working with. So, you know, you guys don't make the same mistake. And finally, that's the piece that I'm going to add at the end. Okay. All right. So wish me luck. And again, if you have the same situation, that's the best solution for you. And it's fast. All right. So you guys can see it's very short. So um, now I'm going to have to cut it and then clean it and then put the extension in there. All right. So I removed the plate. Now, it didn't take me that long, but I just wanted to show you guys. About this size is good, I think. Okay. All right. Let's get it going. So, this is a quick overview of what I've done so far. Um... So I bought this this back plates. So I realized that it's not gonna work, so I didn't even bother opening it. They sell the other one that you can buy that's larger and you can just put it on on the ring. So I'll just go buy and back it. So this is what I've done. I've attached the other one to this and then now I have the extend one. So I'm all ready. I just plug this back first and then I'm just gonna snap it in there. And then that's really it. And then I just have to plug back everything in and then turn on the water, see if it works. All right, so this is, I didn't do anything special, so I didn't wanna show you the tedious steps, but just attach this first and then now I'm gonna plug it back. So final step, I've attached the other one. Now you see how long it is. And uh, man, I almost burnt my house. Look at that. You see that smoke? Sheesh. Yeah, so I had to stop with the flame, with the fire, because uh, anyway, I just plug everything back up. Now I'm gonna turn the water and then see if it works. All right. So I'm testing it to see if there's no water. And so far, so good. Um. I just turned it on. No leak. No nothing, huh? Looks like I did a good job, guys. <laughs> and again, this is my first time doing this, so that's why I'm acting like that. I just wanted to show you guys you can do it. Um, um, you can do everything. Just look at videos on YouTube. I watch a couple. And I went to Home Depot and asked a few questions. And ta-da, this is it. Saved myself $150 worth of someone coming to my house to do the same thing you could have done. Um, if you know what you're doing, it will take you about a good 30 minutes um, to do this. Um, I had to improvise a little bit, but once everything was out, it was easy to plug everything back in. So anyway, guys, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more different content. Um, this is my personal channel and then I'm 
moving forward, I'll be sharing everything that I get, um, whether it's an electronic device or whatever things that I'm doing at my house, I'll share with you guys. If you have a home, things that you can do to save money. However, whether it's buying things or doing some work at your own house. All right, guys, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the, the bell notification. And see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace.